One of my clients contacted me to fix a CLS issue on their website. Uh, I checked it out for them and right away I noticed something really odd. In Google Search Console, they were seeing CLS issues and warnings and errors for some of their pages, yet when they run Google PageSpeed Insights, GT Metrics, Web Page Test, any scan tool, they were all showing a perfect CLS score or at least not a bad score. Um, so I found that there's a common misconception about the way Google Search Console collects web vitals, core web vitals. Um, and I'll just show you real quick the way that works. So if I go to my website and I've created a page that shows exactly what happens here, and I'm gonna open up this and I'm gonna start profiling the page. This is content right here. In a few seconds, an element will pop in. That'll cause everything to shift down. There we go. So this would represent an ad uh, that loads on the page that annoys or uh, messes with user experience. So on this page, if I run GT metrics, and I'll do that in a second, it won't show any CLS issues. It'll be exactly zero. However, in Google Search Console, which hasn't discovered this page yet, but in Google Search Console, it will be giving me a warning that there are CLS issues on this page. And the reason that those are different um, is that Google Search Console collects data, Core Web Vitals, from your actual visitor's experience from their browser. It's not collected as part of the crawl bot when Google crawls a page. It's actually collected from your real time or your real visitors. Whereas PageSpeed Insights, GT Metrics, and Web Page Test, and any auditing tool will crawl your page, wait for the page to load, wait a few seconds more, and then end the audit. You know, it might have noticed that this element popping in happened, I had it set to happen eight seconds after the page loaded. So audits would have, or scans would have uh, finished their scan before this happened. So they would never have seen this CLS issue. Using Google Chrome's performance and profiling tool, I can actually um, see the layout shift happen. In fact, that's one of the new uh, developer features, which I highly recommend you use whenever you're looking at these things. This is the exact same data that gets sent to Google Search Console. This is basically the last word, um, the actual data that matters. Um, but you'll see here, this red bar right here, this is a layout shift. If I click it, it'll even tell me uh, not only the score, so how much of a layout shift happened. This is 0.25, this is well above the minimum. Um, this will definitely negatively affect SEO. It'll tell you what actually moved, what got shifted down. So that's a very cool feature. Um, but you can tell that this layout shift did indeed happen and this is what Google Search Console has seen. Um, another common misconception is that because people think that Google Search Console uses their crawlbot to see, to find web vital issues, um, they assume that it only matters for the first, you know, when the page gets loaded and that's it. However, it doesn't matter at what point during the lifetime of the window or the page being open uh, that issues happen. If this layout shift happened five minutes after this and it wasn't as a result of me interacting with the page, then it will be sent to Google, Google Search Console and it will affect SEO. Um, so the timeline doesn't actually matter it just matters that it does happen and it's not a result of the user interacting with something. Um, I've actually added a delay to this. This actually froze the entire page for a few seconds because I added some extra work on the main thread that would exaggerate this happening. Um, so I'm going to run a quick GT metrics scan to show you that despite, despite uh, having a CLS issue, uh, GT metrics and any other auditing tool will say that I have a perfect score in this case. And this is where normally you wouldn't find out about these issues. If you went to your advertising provider and said, hey, can you fix these CLS issues that your advertising software is causing on my website? They'll go in, they'll make the ads wait 10 to 15 seconds or even wait for user input before they get displayed. Um, you know, you as the website owner will go ahead and run some scans. You see, oh, hey, look at this. I got a perfect score, 0 0.03. That's basically nothing. That's not an issue. It's not gonna cause any issues with Core Web Vitals. That should be it, right? Uh, you'll check back a month later and you'll find 
that Google Search Console is still telling you you have CLS issues uh, despite you thinking that it was all done, you, you got it all fixed. Um, so I think that's just something you need to really watch out for and Search Console data is going to be the data that actually matters in the end.